Odds are pretty good that if you're stuck at home, you're probably going to land up watching Netflix. So today, let me show you four web browser extensions that every single Netflix owner should know about to make that experience pff, a whole lot better. Let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget. Hey, welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So a quick one for those who don't know how to install a Chrome extension. All you're going to do is go into Google, type Chrome Web Store, press the enter button, and then the first link that pops up will be the Chrome Web Store. Chrome.google.com. Here is where all the extension lives and those are little applications that people have built to work within Chrome. If you go to the top left hand side, you'll see a search bar and that's where you type in all the names of the extension I'm about to give you. Okay, let's get started. So a cool way to watch Netflix is obviously with having people over and then you just chill and watch your Netflix. But now we're not allowed to have people over, so what do you do? Well, you go to netflixparty.com is what you do. And what this thing allows you to do, it allows you to watch the same movie together with other people who are not necessarily in the same location as you are and still have an interactive chat. How does it work? You install the application, you open a video file, create your party, join the Netflix party. Let me show you how to do that exactly. So let's go install the extension first. It's called Netflix party. Click on add to Chrome, add the extension little end pops up there in the top right let's go find the movie we want to watch pause that and then you click on the extension now you'll see what it does it opens up a Netflix party you can say start it creates a very unique URL and anyone who has this URL can join your Netflix watch party copy the URL send it via text send it via email get the other people to join and when they do all of you can watch the exact same movie, start and stop it at the same time, and you can still have a chat on the side. All right, next up, I'm trying to watch my movie, but you know what? I've still got work to do. So, um, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. I'm trying to reposition this so I can still work. Let me just make my Netflix window smaller. Okay, that, that, that should work. And then let me get to back to doing my YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. As soon as you click away, the window disappears. Now, you can always reposition your entire window and try to do this balancing act between the two applications. Um, that seems like a lot of work. So, go and install Picture in Picture Extension by Google. Same thing, click on Add to Chrome, add the extension. Right, it pops up in there and it gives you little instructions. Alt P is what you need to click. So. So let's go back to the movie we were watching, press Alt P and there's a little pop-up window on the side. And as you can see, I'm able to click away, push play, watch my movie whilst I'm doing other stuff. That's pretty cool. Now, what is really, really nice as well is that you can, of course, pause, you can exit out of it, but you can also work not just in your browser. You can go back to any other application and that window will still stay open and play. So by now, most people know about Netflix super secret, not so secret codes. And essentially, all you're going to do is change the URL. You're going to put in netflix.com slash browse slash genre and then a code. And that code will take you to a specific type of genre of movies. So as long as you know what those codes are, it's pretty easy to basically type it into your web browser. If you want to know what those codes are, a quick Google search for Netflix secret codes and there they are but there has to be a better way and indeed there is what you're going to do is you're going to find the netflix categories extension click on add to chrome and then click add the extension and there it is a little n pops up out of there when you click on it you're able to see all of netflix categories you're even able to search you're able to heart the categories that you like to watch more frequently a really extensive list. You're going to spend lots and lots of time here finding the cool things that you're into. For those who like to use the keyboard shortcuts, you all know that when you press spacebar, it pauses. Press the spacebar, it unpauses. You press the F, you go to full screen. You press the escape, it goes back to normal. You press the right arrow keys, it fast forwards by 10 seconds. You can press it multiple times. The left arrow key, it goes back 10 seconds. 
right? These are the basic fundamentals. Arrow up, gonna increase the volume. Arrow down, decreases the volume. You press the M to mute everything, and then the M again to unmute it. However, the one thing I couldn't find is the ability to go to the next episode if you're trying to watch a series or the previous episode if you're trying to watch a series. What you can do is install Netflix Extended. So you add this to your, to your Chrome and you'll see another little end pops up there. It's a green end this time. And if you right click on that and then you choose options, it's got a whole host of options for you to enable or disable and play with just really to be able to customize your Netflix experience some of it a little bit advanced. I like to go straight to the key bounding and there we go. I can press B for the previous episode or N for the next episode. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Check out some of these other cool videos down here because you need to have that faster Wi-Fi so you can get that amazing Netflix experience. Hit the head below to subscribe if you like this kind of content. Give the video a thumbs up if you dig it and I will see you in those videos. Let's go.